Hey guys, welcome in to this episode of Chelsea Living. Uh, my name is Jeff Beavers and I'm excited to have uh, one of my friends that is a registered nurse at St. Vincent's Hospital. His name is Corey Adams and Corey, we certainly appreciate you being with us this morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Corey, uh, obviously you are on the front lines more so than uh, than pretty much anyone that, that we've had on the show in a while. So if you can, tell me and tell our, uh, our viewers exactly what you're experiencing or what you were experiencing when all this really first got going, when you would walk into work and what you're experiencing now when you go into work. Yeah, so at first, it, you know, nothing really changed. I mean, you would hear the, the clamor of everything going on. You would see the managers going, meeting after meeting coming to us, you know, information will be changing rapidly. You know, one, you know, early in the morning, they'd be like, this is what you're gonna do. And then by that late on the afternoon, like, well, actually we're gonna do this. So at first, I think the initial thing was a lot of uncertainty. You didn't really know from day to day what was gonna be going on. And then about a week or so in, you started seeing my sister unit. So I'm an ICU nurse. Um, they became the COVID unit. So they were quarantined. So the only patients on that floor were either positive patients or persons under investigation, PUIs, what we call them. And so being the, the sister unit, you would kind of see all of your coworkers, you know, having to get, dress out. So the pictures you see in New York of everybody wearing the mask and the, the face shields and all the gowns was really true, you know. And, we would have patients that we would get in our unit and they would end up coming needing to be tested. So we would ship them over to that unit. So my unit is not technically the, the COVID unit, but you would see that. And so as everything progressed, you know, we started shutting down parts of the hospital. So walking through the hospital now is practically a ghost town compared to what it usually is. When we hear on the news and we read, just like you said, that we're coming up on uh, what's considered our peak time. So, and, and obviously correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I'm guessing that the peak time means that the absolute worst case scenario, the most amount of cases that Alabama is projected to have. Right. So when that hits though, what happens, let's say if, if Friday, for example, is the peak day, what is Saturday? Does that mean that we're on the decline now? Or, or what exactly does that mean? I think, you know, so basically it's like anything, you know, it's like they project things based on other, you know, precedent sets. So they project things on how when Washington from the first time they had their first case to the point where they were at the worst um, was X many days. And I think from us, because we were so far behind, you know, we're a couple of weeks behind the first case that that's they're projecting us to kind of peak out at the at the worst so the most patients in the hospital the most patients requiring ventilation and that's not to be you know nobody really knows when the actual peak will happen and if it will get to that point um but just basically other scientists and the health officials that are kind of manning all this that's what they expect it to be the worst um you know so it could be we peak and then we start seeing a decline, but you know, we have a big banner when you're walking in and out of our hospital. We actually come to the loading dock, so it's a place where nobody, you know, patients, nobody really sees it, but it tells you how many patients we've had in the hospital that either have been tested or how many patients were positive or how many patients have gone home to recover. Um, and so it kind of gives you, hey, this is, you know, at the worst right here, but we actually are seeing people recover. So. You know, it's kind of like a that, like that light down the tunnel where you're actually starting to see patients being discharged that had came in with with COVID-19 and then gone home. I had read that obviously this was just basically another strand of the flu, and everybody shouldn't panic on that. I also read that uh, uh, the good thing about this is because that we live in the state of Alabama with our high temperatures that once it gets warmer, that it's gonna kill this off. Um, and now uh, I've read that uh, this can be, you know, live on the soles of your shoes for X number of days. 
what what exactly is true and what is false from the the briefest nutshell that you can give us on that all right so with the temperature i actually uh talked to our infectious disease doctor and so he said basically you would have to be probably at 160 170 degree temperature for x minute you know x number of minutes to hours um so basically the temperature is based on when the summer hits people disperse right so some go to the beach some are here we're not confined in you know in our you know basic life where everybody's in office buildings and stuff so that is why the aspect of maybe in the summer it'll, it, it'll dissipate as far as living on you know living on surfaces i don't think really anybody knows you know i think anything can live on the soles of your shoes so yes it can be tracked from from place to place so it is a good you know good tip to take your shoes off at the door you know don't wear them through the house you know when i come home every day from work my shoes come off right at the front door so they're not you know things aren't tracked around my kids can take it you know take it to their toys or something um so yeah so it's a good you know just a habit to wipe them down or, or spray them down with lysol if you can find that um it's not as you know i wouldn't say it's another strand of the flu um it does it have similarities i guess you know the some of the symptoms are similar but the whole thing is, is it's causing healthy people, you know, 30, 40, 50 year olds that otherwise have nothing going on, you know, it's hitting their lungs and it's so aggressive on, on the lungs. And so I think what it is is the, the pathogens or the infections that it can cause in the body is really just wreaking havoc on, on otherwise healthy, healthy people. And so, you know, originally they were like, well, if you're healthy, you're fine. Um, and then, you know, a week later, like, well, technically, actually, we're seeing healthy people um, get it and not be fine. And so I think that's when really the uproar started. It's not really that, well, if you're immunocompromised, you're really the only ones at risk. It's everybody. And I think as far as healthcare workers, you're seeing mutation after mutation of this virus already. And it's very, you know, early um, stages. And so they're getting a dose of all that. So, you know, they're getting a strain of, you know, they're getting infected with this strain and then they're having another patient that it's mutated and it's another strain. And so that's, I think that's another thing. This is mutating very rapidly when the flu, you know, it, it mutates, but it takes a little bit longer. Um, and so, you know, so I think that's a lot of the difference in it right now. What are your thoughts on uh, individuals and the general population out in public wearing masks and gloves. Oh, all right. <clears throat> I was hoping you'd ask this or I was going to just say it. Okay, mask, I'm perfectly fine with. You know, it is a droplet um, disease. Um, so you have to be, you know, cough. The, and so basically when you go to droplet to airborne, it's the size of the particles. Okay, so if you cough, that's a, and it gets on you, you spread droplets, the particles are larger. So you can be infected, contaminated with it. So wear a mask is perfectly fine. You know, if you do wear a cloth mask, don't wear it for three days in a row. Wear it, wash it, wear it out again, um, or get a couple of them. Gloves absolutely drives me up the wall. Okay, as a nurse, I perform a task. I put gloves on. When I go to the next task, my hand, my gloves come off. You know, hand sanitizer or something. Wearing gloves is basically like going around, touching everything, never washing your hands. So you go through a store, you have your gloves on, you know, you touch this item and then you touch your buggy, you touch this other item and then you grab your phone, right? So there's no difference in me touching something, grabbing my phone and not washing my hands because it may be protecting you per se at that moment. But then actually I was at Walmart the other day um, had the kids so I sat in the car and my wife ran into the store you know one person one buggy one family and I see this guy unload his groceries into the car with his gloves on reaches into his pocket grabs his keys same gloves that he had touched everything gets in the car touches the steering wheel picks up his phone and then puts everything down takes his gloves off hand sanitizes and then touches everything that he just touched with his gloves so yeah. you just defeated the whole purpose in wearing gloves because, you know, it didn't do anything. You know, if you were wearing gloves, you took them off, you know, 
which even if you took them off after you left the store, but didn't touch any of your personal belongings, but you touched everything. So anything that you came in contact with in the store is now on your personal items. And so when it would just be better just to hand sanitize, you know, there's hand sanitizing stations set up all throughout the, the stores now yeah. that you can, you can clean your hands. And I understand that it makes people feel comfortable. I get it. But when you're, if you don't truly grasp the understanding of, of wearing them, it doesn't really do anything. It's just, it's really your sense of security, but it's, you're really hurting yourself in the long run. And that would be the one thing. It's just, the masks are perfectly fine. They're acceptable, you know, yeah. they, they recommend it and it, it protects you or it can protect someone else because, you know, you can be infected with it up to 14 days and not even know you have it and be spreading. And so the masks are perfectly fine, but the gloves, especially if you can wear them, take them off before you touch any of your stuff. It's just, because you're, you're going to get yourself sick, you can get someone else sick. And then not to mention, everybody's just throwing them on the ground, they're throwing them in the buggies. And so there's workers that are putting themselves at risk just as much as we are, you know, not more so because, you know, we actually have some of the, the PPE and, you know, we're a little more protected. Like you have, you know, someone's grandmother or someone's mom or someone's brother at Walmart or at Target or wherever, and they're having to go pick up those, those gloves. And, you know, it's not fair to them. You know, there's no reason for them to have to be putting themselves at risk just for someone not really not caring or not thinking about it. Um, so, so if you do wear them, throw them in the trash. You know, don't don't throw them in the in the ground on the ground or in the buggy. It's just it's not fair to them. Corey, I, I appreciate you being on uh, with me. Uh, it may come down to where I want to reach out and have you on again uh, a little later when uh, right. when all this kind of passes or if we're on uh, the you know the downside of the uh, of the, the peak curve. But uh, uh, you know, it's our prayer that you and your wife and all of those in the medical profession, it, as well as those on the front line, uh, stay healthy, stay well, and stay safe. Uh, and like I said, uh, we will we'll continue to do hopefully what we're instructed to do uh, and somehow get back to normal eventually. Yeah, hopefully sooner than later. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, all right, buddy, take care, and I certainly appreciate you being on. Uh, hang in there. Appreciate it, man. Bye-bye. Right, bye.